guys, tonight I'm going to be doing a uh, Valentine's Day gift basket. Uh, it's not for anybody in particular. I don't have a Valentine. I haven't had a Valentine in I don't know how long. I don't want to dwell on that. We're not going to dwell on that. So, I got a uh, two-pack of these red baskets from the Dollar Tree today. So, you know, 50 cents a basket, you can't beat that. And all I did was I had some leftover Christmas silver ribbon. Most of the stuff here is from Dollar Tree. I think one or two things might be from Walmart. But uh, all I did was use my hot glue to tack down a piece of ribbon going all the way around the basket. You want to start at the back, work your way around, and then close it off at the back. And then I had leftover tissue paper from Christmas. A lot of this stuff is left over from Christmas. So, and I got a lot of it on clearance. So, uh, and what I did was I just put one layer down in there and then I put, packed some more down in there just for some filling because I want some of my stuff to be raised up. So, you guys know me when I do my gift baskets, I always like to have tall, working down to shorter. Then, let's see, what else do I have? All right, next thing up I want to do is I got this little balloon holder thing. It has a little hook thing there on the back. So if you're going to give this to, you know, that special someone and you want to attach a balloon to that to rise up off the basket, that would look really super cute. I'm not doing that for this. So I'm tucking that down. I want a lot of that white to kind of show at the front. So I want to kind of turn that around a little bit more. And you can kind of manipulate this as you need to. Let me get that better in a shot. I'll move my camera a little bit. That's kind of tall. Okay. All right, so let's try that. Then I also got uh, from the Dollar Tree this glass. It's cute. It says, be mine, and it's lined through and it says, wine. <laughs> I like that. So I'm going to tuck that down, kind of with that angle, just slightly. Because I'm going to be filling that with some candy and stuff. So now at this point, what I want to do is um, garland from the Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. It has these cute little hearts on it. I don't know if you can see the little hearts. And I'm going to be shoving that down in there. That is just filler. I had a lot of red going on here. So that's one of the reasons I decided to use the white tissue paper is kind of offset some of that. I'll stick most of that down around the front. Now let me set that on top a little bit more. I want some good height to the back of that. Because you want to be able to see as much of the stuff you got going in here as you can. All right. I don't want that angle too much. I'm going to be filling that with some candies. Get in there. All right. A um, little box of truffles. little mini truffles, I think they are. And I'm going to tuck that down in the back. About like that. Kind of angled. Sometimes you got to play around with these baskets. Get them to look the way you want them to look. All right, that should be good for now. I uh, got this Dollar Tree. came as a set. It is a little wax burner thing. And that's what it looks like. And it came with one tea light. And it came with a little package of the wax. I'm not going to put that in there. I picked up an oil instead to put in there. Get rid of that. That is the stress relief, but I'm not putting the stress reliever in there. No, we're going to use something else. All right, so let's try to position that with the pretty side in the front. Kind of angled up a little bit. Get up there. Let me turn this towards me real quick so I can play with this. Okay. want that showing a little bit more. Alright, now because I do have the wine glass, and this is kind of like a whole romantic V-Day thing going on, 
I went to my liquor store and I got this four pack of Sutter Home a White Zinfandel. It was $8.75, so you know, $2.20 a bottle, something like that. And I'm just going to put one bottle in there. Unless your special loved one is a super lush, and then you might want to put two in there. But I think that will work out with just one. Oh, I just tipped it. Whoops. Whoops. I want to make sure some of that red is showing through there too. So let's, let's get that positioned a little bit better. All right. Looking good so far. Okay. Then to put into our wax burner from the Dollar Tree, I picked up this luminescence. Oh God, what? Can't even tell what that is. Melon and melon and raspberry. Melon and raspberry. And I'm going to wedge that down in there. Like, well, kind of like that. There we go. All right. Next up is. Get some more red out of there. I want some more of that red showing, I think. Let's get some more red. It is Valentine's Day. We need the red. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so we got the booze out of the way. We got the wax stuff out of the way, the oils. Uh, Russell Stover's four pack of caramels, Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to put it so that the hearts are at the top rather than the caramels. Now I'm going to tuck that back down in there. Let's keep our red up there. Going. Okay. Then, uh, next up, I think what I'm going to do, I got these, I think, from Walmart for 98 cents. It's a four pack of heart shaped picks. And I don't like this bow on there, so I'm going to take that off. Let's see if we can just, oh, okay, that just pulls out of there. That just pulls right out of there. Easy peasy, Louisy. All right. Now, I also had, left over from Christmas, a six pack of these mini bows. <laughs> You're going to need a fuzzy stick for this, too. On this basket, I'm going to use three of them. And this first one... I'm going to use a little bit of hot... Oh, my bow fell apart. Cheap bow. Let's get that tied back on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just par for the course, isn't it? All right, let's just put a little bit of hot glue on there. And I'm going to tack that onto the bottom of our heart. I think I, think I like that side better. So let's, let's try to tack that on there to the stick a little bit. Get on there. That's yeah, okay. I'm going to set it down so I can tie this on there good. I have to push that up and do a little bit of working with it. I'm going to cut that excess off. Cutting it off. Now I don't want that sliding down. Oh, that hot glue sticks. There we go. It's sticking now. Alright. There's what you got. And, of course, it would not be a Jill project without stickers. Foamy stickers. Love them, love them. And, uh, on that, I'm going to put that just right there in the center. I just so much love these stickers. I've I say it in all my videos. They just are so much fun. And we're just going to tuck that. Can y'all see that? I'm just going to kind of tuck that right down into there. A little bit of height. That looks so cute and pretty. What I'm also going to do is take another one of those bows. And let's make sure this one doesn't fall apart on me. This one, I'm going to do another sticker on the front. I just think that silver and red look so pretty together. 
It's just cute. And I kind of want that one to be in the very front of the basket. So let's feed that up through there. Give that a tie off in the back. Cover that back up. Let's put a little bit of red to cover that a little bit more. Not that much. Then I just want to secure this a little bit better by tacking a little bit of hot glue up underneath there. We're going to hold that into place for a second. Yeah, without squishing it. There we go. Alright. I don't want that big old heart thing hanging over there. Get off of there. I don't want you there. Alright. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, dropped, I dropped hot glue onto my tablecloth. <laughs> Good thing it's a cheap one. That's what you got. All right. So we got all that going on. That's looking really good. Make sure I get that turned around. Everything kind of shifted when my basket stuck to my table. All right. Mm, next up is Valentine Hearts in the silver and the red foil Dollar Tree. That's what's going into our wine glass. Get in there. It looks like one package pretty much will fill that up good. Tuck that over. I don't want it overflowing because I sure don't want these things falling out. All right. Cute though. Then, well, let me pull the camera back even more, I think. So you all can see what I got going on. And my turtle tank in the back. All right, burned out one package of those chocolate hearts. Then, next up, I have some more candies, and I think I'm going to go ahead. These are all from Dollar Tree also. These are the Double Crisps. They come in the red, red foil with some little white hearts on it. And I think we're just going to drop some of those down into there. Ooh as filler. You still want to be able to see the stuff you got happening. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. <coughs> I have not been able to drop this cough from when I had my cold. I feel so terrible. And I don't even have a editing program or anything to edit my hacking out. It's so depressing. I've tried and tried and tried to download editing programs. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but nothing's working. Uh, those are just kind of filler. Plus extra little goodies to find along the way as your special person tears into this basket. I don't want to hide my oil. Let's prop it up with some chocolate. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. That just leaves two chocolates for me to munch on here in a little bit, which I will do. All right, I really like that. Let me make sure I don't have anything else I wanted to put in here that I'm forgetting about. Uh, I think that might be it. Okay, I did have this other package of chocolates, but I think I'm just going to eat that myself. So let's get that out of the way. All right, so once you got that all done, and you know what I might do? You know what I'm, yeah. Yep, here's what I'm going to do. So much for me eating the last two chocolates. What I'm going to do, so this doesn't look so plain, I'm like, what the heck is that, they're going to say, is I am going to use 
piece of double sided tape. I don't know, last time I tried to stick this to something foil for a Christmas basket, it didn't work. Oh, I don't want to press that down too much. Oh, yeah, see, that's not going to work. Dang, I hoped that would. All right, let's see if there's something else I can come up with. Maybe if I, maybe if I grab another piece and roll it on top of itself, maybe that will work. Let's roll that on top of itself. Let's see if that will stick. Sometimes this is crappy, but this is this is Scotch double-sided tape, and it is the worst. It doesn't stick to anything. All right, that's not working something else to go in there you guys what do I want to go in there I suppose I could just drop them in there yeah that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna drop them in there all right we're gonna call that gift basket done other than wrapping it to be presented to whoever you want to give it to and uh, for that I have one of these clear Baskets. Oh, I gotta move that out of the way a minute. And let us get all my junk out of the way. You see my leftover three bottles? I will be drinking these tonight. Just saying. <laughs> all right. Get all my glitter. Get the glitter off the table. Find the top. Where's the top? These things are huge. I actually got these gift bags off of Amazon. They are humongous. Anyway. Okay. I almost lost my arms down in that. Pull this down. So I can work with it better. Alright. Very noisy cellophane. All right, oh, let's get our pretty gift basket. Let's just drop that down into there. The hard part is when you're dropping this down into these gift bags, or these uh, cellophane bags, try not to dislodge the stuff that you have placed in there. Because like that, some of it is gonna shift around. And then you're going to want to reach down in there and adjust it better again. Where you want it that to be. Alright. I'm going to try to get that centered a little bit more in that bag. Alright. So there's what you have. And then we're going to pull up the top. Oh, it's so long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this off. Get some of the air out of there. I'm going to tie this off at the top with my red fuzzy tie. Actually, I don't need it that big. Let me cut that down a little bit. Where'd my scissor go? You can probably hear the puppies in the back, my little rescued puppies who are doing really good. I have them crated just so that they don't bump into the camera. And they are not liking it too much. So let's just take a little bit of a little fuzzy tie. Let's, I want that to be up a little bit higher. Let's tie that in the back. You probably cannot see this. I'm sure this is off camera. It's all right. You don't need to see me tying a bag. That ain't no big deal. All right. Looking good. Then, one more silver bow. Let's make sure that's secure on the back. Looks like it is. Pretty good. And I need to untie that just a little bit. That one's twisted kind of tight. But not all the way. Like about that. Alright. Then I'm going to put another small heart-shaped sticker on there and that 
I think we'll just go on the top there. Is that what I want to do with that? Or do I want to make a big red bow? I don't know. Yep. You know what? Big red bow. Bear with me a minute. Big red bow. Big red bow. All right. I'm going to show you how to make a bow. This is the way I do it. Huh, now, you probably got a better way of doing it than me. So, what I'm going to do is figure out about how big I want that to be. About like that, I think. Mm, all right, let's go about that. All right, and then I just wrap it on itself a few times. This is left over from Christmas also. Anything you have left over from other holidays, you can usually find something else to do with them. <coughs> Gee, God, I'm so sorry. Let's cut that back there. One, two, three. I'll make sure I gave myself three. All right. I'm going to pinch that like that. Now I'm going to put that other half of our fuzzy stick over that real quick, just to hold that in place. Just like that should be all right. Maybe a little tighter. Okay. I got that centered halfway decent. I think I'll be perfect. All right, and then I'm just going to do the tail. Probably about like that. I'm going to cut this a little long because you can always, it's better to be longer because you can always cut it down than short. And then find that you got to redo it. All right, this is, this is one of the simple cheater ways I make it. A bow. And then... Find the center, put that in there, one or two quick ties, let's bring this back out here, All right. I'm going to raise this up a little bit, <laughs> you're going to get a full shot of my turtle tank back there, hi Clyde, where's Clyde, alright, then I'm going to get that attached, to the back. I should have cut that a little bit longer, but that's all right. That's going to work. That'll be all right. All right. Fluff out your bow. Then, because I wrap that so many times around my hand, I don't know if you guys can see this really super good, pull out your bows. You can do this before you secure it. It don't matter. However you want to do it. Well, I may not have done that right. It'll be okay. And I probably should have done one more loop de loo That's all right. Anyway, normally you want to have like three on one side, three on the other. It'll be okay. I don't think anybody's really going to notice that much. Probably going to pay attention. Then with your... Oh, sorry. I just hit the camera. With the scissors. Okay, with the bottom of your tails... You want to just fold it in half, cut a V out of there like that, and another one on this side like that. Then you have your bow. And I think so that doesn't look so crazy. I think I'm going to pull that third one on this side up. So, it looks like it's supposed to have five. <laughs> you know. What do I always say? It's rustic! <laughs> I, I always say if, uh, if things don't go your way, things don't turn out the way that you want them to turn out, and they look a little crazy, you just call it, ru call it rustic. And then people are like, that's rustic. I love rustic. And then we're going to fluff that out a little bit. There, yeah. There we go. Okay, enough screwing with the bow. All right, so the last thing we want to do, camera down again, is because this bag is so large, what I'm going to do is just take my tape, 
uh, let me reach around here and get my tape. I'm just going to take some regular masking tape. We're going to tack those sides down underneath the basket so it looks a little bit better. Now here's the part where you really got to be careful to not dislodge everything in there. So you don't want to tilt that too much. Just enough to get that tape onto that bottom. To hold that into place. Oh, see? Get up there. Get up there. It's all right. <laughs> It'll be all right. I wish that tape would have held that down. All right, I'm going to pull this off the camera real quick just so I can kind of pull this off my table. And get this side of the bag down here. And tape that bottom down. There we go. I think I got that pretty good. All right. There you have it. Um, I will probably... Mm, might take some of the top of that bag off of there. No, you know what? I'm just going to leave the top of the bag the way it is. It'll be fine. All right. There you have your Valentine's Day gift basket. Hope you guys like that. And if you decide to do this for somebody special in your life, I'm sure they will like it. There's what you got. Pretty, pretty and full of good stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. If you like this and you want to see more gift baskets, gift boxes, wreaths, DIYs, things like that, recipes even, uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And y'all have a happy Valentine's Day next month. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.